Mr. President, the General Assembly suspended Russia's rights as a member for the Human Rights Council. What message does it send to the world, in your opinion? Well, I think that the message is that we go back to the resolution that created the Council. And the resolution that created the Council uh, had specifically the clause that would allow that for gross and systematic violations of human rights, you can be suspended. And the only precedent we had with was Libya, of course, uh, but the message is that you cannot be a member of the Council and at the same time commit a, a, a violation of territorial integrity that end up with these atrocities in the field in another member of the Council because Ukraine also is a, was a member of the Council. So the message is we have to uh, oblige by the rules and, and follow the rules um, and I think it's a powerful message by the General Assembly. To, to, to apply that clause. And going back to the beginning of the conflict, after this conflict in Ukraine started, uh, there were some concerns that this crisis would garner more attention than other uh, conflicts in other parts mm -hmm. of the world, to name a few, Yemen, Syria, DR Congo. Is that a concern for you too? Yes, it is a concern. It is a concern because, um, you know, in the Council we address 50 countries and we address over a hundred different reports on themes that go from gender violence to LGBT rights to environment. And in all those reports, we saw so many people suffering from violations of human rights all over the world. But within that scope, we have 13 countries uh, that have special procedures because they have very difficult situations. Let's talk about the, the girls in Afghanistan, for example, what we are trying to do uh, with the edu right to education, or Syria, over 11 years, a commission of inquiry there. Um, so I it is unfortunately understandable, but unfortunate that all the attention is over this conflict, but I'm sure that the lessons learned will have a good impact in other cases because the important thing is that for all actors to be involved in the in the wider picture of suffering all over the world not only in in Europe but I understand why we are focusing in Europe for the simple reason that Europe has been the continent where the worst wars and worst atrocities were committed over centuries so uh, the reaction of the international community not to repeat in a continent that had such a dark history on atrocities and wars, it's understandable that everything is focused there. But we have to deal with all victims all over the world. And finally, is there a special message that you would like to leave for people who are suffering from atrocities across the globe? Yeah, the, the message is you have a place uh, to go. You have a place where your voice is heard now more than ever, because we have to remember always the historical perspective. Um, the voices of Auschwitz victims were not able to get out of Auschwitz. Uh, and now we have the possibility of victims sending a tweet or calling the phone or the cameras like this being there, being in front of the atrocities we have just done. So imagine the world if we had had the type of attention we had this last month with pictures and videos when people were put on a train for extermination. Maybe we had, at that time, if we had the tools that we have today, maybe not six million Jews have, who have been killed. So we have to take advantage of the tools that we have today. Mr. President, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.